Hi, and welcome to this section of the tutor where we're going to talk about adding, subtracting, and multiplying decimals. In the last section, we've introduced what decimal place value is, and in this section of the course, we're going to talk about how do you add numbers that have decimals, how do you subtract them, how do you multiply them, and then we're going to save division for, an, for another lesson, okay? So let's go in and let's say, what, what would you say if you had um, a problem like 7.6, 7.6, that's a decimal, plus 8.2. Okay, 7 plus 6 plus uh, 8.2. Well, the good news is adding, subtracting, and multiplying decimals are very, very similar to what we've already done in adding and subtracting and multiplying numbers. So there's not going to be that many examples here because it's going to be almost exactly the same thing. I'm just going to teach you a couple of rules along the way. You're going to do the same thing you always do. You're going to add, you're going to line these things up on top of each other. And you're going to go ahead and keep your decimal points here as well. What you want to do, okay, is you want to line these decimal points up one on top of each other. Okay? So you're going to write the numbers on top of each other, you're going to line your decimals up. Okay? And then after that, you're going to basically add, uh, you're going to basically add just like you always add. So that's why I say it's going to be almost exactly the same. So we're going to start in the right hand column like we always do. 6 plus 2 is going to give you 8, right? and 8 plus 7 is going to give you 15. So you put 15, okay? So you have 8 and you have this 15. Now, the only thing you have to realize with decimals is when you add them, you line the decimal up and all you do is you take that decimal and you drag it right down, okay? So the answer is 15.8. So literally, it is exactly the same thing as what you've done before. You add your numbers and then when you're done, you take that decimal point that you have in your problem, which you've lined up, and you just pop it down there. Nothing special, nothing hard, okay? What if you had something like 18.2 uh, plus 9.8? So again, you say 18.2, 9.8. You line your decimals up and you put your numbers one on top of the other. And then you go ahead and add just like you would always add, okay? 8 plus 2 gives you 10, but 10 is too big of a number to write down here because I have other values here, so I'm going to put the 1 up in the next column up on the top, just like before. Nothing has different. Nothing has changed, okay? 8 plus 1 is going to give me 9, plus another 9 is going to give me 18. So I put an 8 down there, and again, I need to carry my 1 over to the next column, okay? Like this. And then finally, 1 plus 1 gives me 2. Okay, And the final thing is, whenever you finish a problem, you take your decimals that you've lined up and you drag it down and you put it right between there. So this literally is exactly the same methodology, exactly the same steps as in the previous section when we started adding numbers. Start in the right column, carry as you, as you need to. Here we had uh, 1 plus 8 plus 9 gave us 18. We had to carry a 1 and then we write our final number down. And when we're done, we take the decimal and we pop it down there and we don't do anything differently. So 28.0 is going to be the answer, okay? Just going to do a couple more here with addition and subtraction because it really is so similar. What if you have 13.4 minus 11.2? So you're going to do the same thing that you always do. You're going to write the big number on the top and the smaller number underneath it and you're going to line these decimal points up one underneath the other, okay? And then you're going to subtract. 